Ramakrishna. Namaste. I love stories, especially reading story books. I have read Harry Potter series, Septimus Heap series, Malarita series, the Shiva trilogy by Amish, and lots of Amar Chitrakatha series. One day, when I was reading such a book, my father came and asked me, Do you know about Swami Vivekananda? He was a great philosopher and a great jnani. I was in a story mood. So I said, I know Swami Vivekananda, but has he told any stories? Then my father said, Of course he has told lots of stories. And then he narrated to me a few of them. After listening to those stories, I, uh, I liked those stories and read more of Swami Vivekananda's stories. And I also read his life story, which are equally interesting. So today I am going to share with you two sets of stories. The first set are stories narrated by Swami Vivekananda himself and the second set are stories that happened in Swami Vivekananda's life recorded by others. The first story from the first set is about a frog who lived in a well. He had never been out of the well ever since he was born. So he did not know the world outside the well. So one day a frog from the ocean came to visit the frog in the well. He, he described the vastness of the ocean to the frog in the well. But the frog in the well did not understand the vastness of the ocean. So he leaped a little, a, a short distance across the well and asked, Is the ocean as big as this? But the frog from the ocean said, No, no, the ocean is far bigger. You don't understand. But the frog in the well still did not understand. So he jumped a little further and asked, Is the ocean as big as this now? But the frog from the ocean said, no, no, you don't understand the vastness of the ocean at all. And he leaped away. What Swamiji wants us to understand from this story is that we must enhance our knowledge. How do we do that? We can en enhance our knowledge by reading more and more books. The second story I'd like to share is, is when Swami Vivekananda met a scholar. Uh, uh, he was a very famous scholar. So they both talked about lots of shastras and various scriptures. In the end, the scholar asked the Swami Vivekananda to go and get a book from that shelf. When Swami Vivekananda asked, which book should I bring? The scholar said, bring that book about rain forecast. So Swami Vivekananda brought the book about rain forecast. Now the scholar said, read the book and then come to me. Uh, so Swami Vivekananda read the book and then went to the scholar. Then the scholar said, now squeeze the book and see if rain comes out of it. So uh, Swamiji squeezed the book. Later Swamiji explained, of course, rain will not come out of a book. We cannot get any knowledge by squeezing the books we have read. We must transfer the knowledge from the books into our intellect and then apply it in our life. Then only we can improve our life and also the lives of others. So uh, this brings an end to the first set of stories. The first story from the second set is when Swamiji was traveling in Meerut, he was still a wandering monk. When he was traveling in Meerut, he met some of his brother monks and he was very happy to see them. During Swamiji's stay in Meerut, he used to ask Swami Akhandananda to go to the local library and bring him a volume of Sir John Lubbock's works, which were extremely big. Then Swamiji would uh, flip through the book quite hurriedly and then he would return it the next day. After a few days of this, the librarian began to get a doubt that uh, maybe this Swamiji is not even reading the books, but merely trying to show off. So he expressed his doubt to Swami Akhandananda, who then told it to Swami Vivekananda. So Swami Vivekananda himself met with the librarian and said, Sir, whatever you may, you may think of this, 
I have read all the books you have borrowed thoroughly. So feel free to ask any questions you like from uh, any of the books I have so far borrowed. So the librarian asked not only one but many questions from uh, all the books that Swami Vivekananda had so far borrowed. And to his surprise, Swami Vivekananda answered each one in great detail. Uh, the librarian was very astonished. Other people who have experienced this skill of Swami Vivekananda include the Raja of Khetri, Haripad Mitra and Sharad Chandra Chatterjee. When he was asked about how he did this, reading a page by just looking at it, Swami Vivekananda said, there are only three ways how to do this. Continence, Brahmacharya, concentration, focus and of course practice, lots of practice. The second story I would like to share is when Swamiji was travelling in Jaipur, he met a scholar who was very fluent in the Ashtadhyayi Sutras. Ashtadhyayi Sutras are the sutras explaining Sanskrit grammar. So Swami Vivekananda was eager to learn the Ashtadhyayi Sutras. So he asked the scholar if he could teach him. The scholar agreed and soon uh, Swami Vivekananda began learning from the scholar. But the scholar's methodology of teaching was not correct. So they could not make progress with even a few sutras in three whole days. So the scholar uh, gave up and he told Swami Vivekananda, Sir, I fear that learning from me is not going to be much use to you. So I think you should give up. But Swami Vivekananda was persistent and he told the scholar, Sir, I would like to learn the sutras on my own and then I will tell the meanings to you. Can you please check if they are right? So Swami Vivekananda put all of his focus, grit and determination and learned the few sutras that they could not cover in three days. He learned in just three hours. So when he went to say the meanings to the scholar, the scholar found that all the meanings were right. So he told Swami Vivekananda, I really think you should continue learning on your own. That way you can cover lots of sutras. So Swami Vivekananda learned the Ashtadhyayi sutras on his own and he covered a great deal of them. What we must learn from this story is that it is easy to give up. But if we put all our focus, grit and determination, we will not give up. And if we don't give up, we can achieve a lot of things. I hope you enjoyed listening to these two sets of stories. From these two sets of stories, we, uh, we can learn that one, we have to expand our knowledge. Two, we have to apply our knowledge. Three, we have to develop focus. And four, we must never give up in pursuit of knowledge. I was inspired by these anecdotes. I respect and adore Swami Vivekananda for giving us these wonderful life lessons. I hope you all will also read more of Swamiji's works and get inspired. Jai Shri Ramakrishna.